What's going on, everybody? It is day 49 to 56 now in my 100-day run. And a funny thing happened in this little stretch of a week. Um, I finished up. I was working on two and getting it finished up. And right before I was getting ready to scan it in on day four or day 50, uh, I realized that uh, when I go to scan it in, I should probably have issue 9 uh, ready to scan in as well. Uh, I went to scan it in. Um, the blue pencil that I used was showing up when I was going to scan it in. Clearly. Wasn't thinking ahead on that one. And uh, so I had to do some fine erasing on all the pages. Uh, which took me about two hours to complete. Um, while I was erasing, I realized how much I wanted Issue 9 to be a thing. So, I went ahead and got all those pages erased and realized that 9 can't wait for me to get through, like, Issue 6 of reformatting. So, what I'm going to do is, well... I'm, I'm finished with issue 3, getting it reformatted. Um, I was seemingly alright with uh, going ahead and leaving issue 3 how I had it. Uh, the dialogue was kind of rubbing me the wrong way. But after I'd fixed issue 1, a lot of problems in issue 1, a lot of problems in issue 2... Issue 3 didn't seem to have that many problems. But what it did have was a big one, and that was the dialogue. Um, I didn't quite know how to make my narration bubbles yet. Or not narration bubbles, but my speech bubbles yet. And uh, was working on those in Issue 3. And I would draw the words right up to the lines of the speech bubbles. Which looked ugly. Oh, it looked atrocious, actually. Um... Went through, worked on about half of the issue, and and kind of decided it was good as good. Um, then I slept on it and realized that wasn't good enough. Uh, I needed to do more. If I was going to fix one and two, I had to take my time and finish up working on three. Um, day 55 and 56 were basically back-to-back. -back. I worked eight hours through the end of the end of the day on 55 Fi fixing some major issues uh, working it took me about a, a hour to work on a page uh, because I basically cut out all the speech bubbles and then hang on let me show you so this is basically what I was working on issue three uh, I would cut out big sections of where the speech bubbles were um, kind of tack it onto regular sheet of paper behind it and redraw the speech bubbles. Um, you can see how better this speech, this whole page reads um, just because the speech bubbles are that much easier to read and this page was probably the one that I had to fix the most of all. This one was the thorn in my side that was like, you know what, I have to go back and fix all these pages. So 55 and 56 was finishing up working on issue 3, and now it's done, ready to be scanned in. But this is also the 3rd of July, and I'm going to go to my friend's place later today, do some grilling, probably light off some fireworks, you know. The 4th of July celebration. Um, so I had to get it out, done these first four hours of the day. Um, this will be going up later today. Um, if you haven't checked out, Issue 2 is up on Webtoons now. Issue 3 obviously will be up on Webtoons on Monday. Um, definitely, if you've read those first couple issues, I think you should seriously... I seriously suggest you should check out the Webtoons versions because I've tweaked a few things, uh, made it easier to read, fixed some backgrounds, whatnot. Excuse me. Uh, and you find the links to those down below. Um, I've gotten some great feedback. Um, 
there's a few things that I'm going to change up going forward um, that these first few issues have taught me, which is wild to me. Um, and yeah, the reason you're seeing the video of me coloring issue 9 is because I realized last week when I did this whole video, uh, I had shown you all my process butt coloring. Um, I have shown off me working on roughs, I have shown myself inking, I have shown myself, um, doing the tighter pencils, and then, but what I hadn't done was do the coloring. So, that was just another reason, some icing on the cake for me to, uh, get back to coloring issue 9. I really love how this page turned out. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, I'm going to be putting up page pages as I color them. I'm going to try getting two a week. Um, also, this is probably the first way you're going to be able to read issue eight. Uh, I'm going to release a version to my Patreon supporters first. Um, probably send it to Kickstarter backers once I get everything finalized. Um, that's not going to be the finalized copy, but it'll be a rough issue-esque, so you're not getting caught caught so you're not getting ahead of yourself even though like these first eight pages or so don't directly relate back to issue eight so you wouldn't be that lost um so yeah this whole this whole process has been awesome uh it's also been awesome seeing the new hundred days people uh watching jeff flafferty go ahead with his hundred days i think he's like three or four days ahead of me um Karen is rocking her live streams. I'm digging, catching those because I'm just getting in more work while I'm listening to her work through her process. Um, it's cool watching her do it too because she does digital and she's working out this whole story. Uh, I'm so intrigued by her um, whole concept because she wants to go dialogueless, um, and that it's it's manga inspired, so it's like right up my alley. Um, I'm so looking forward to seeing how it's done. Um, yeah. Uh, haven't heard from Jan for a couple weeks, so I'm excited to see what he has going on. Uh, speaking of which, Jan, when you listen to this, get a hold of me. We'll figure out when we're going to do our uh, weekly catch-up. And trust me, you're going to have to come prepared because I am going to be putting a lot on my plate. And I expect you to do just the same. <laughs> So right on, um, God, I I just love how this page turned out. Um, it's heavy in shadows because obviously there's no light behind them, but the light reflecting off the cars in front of them, uh, this whole scene turned out awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I decided that I want to get at least a page colored every few days. Um, I kind of got wrapped up in issue three these last two days or I would have colored a, a page each day but uh, going forward I'm going to try getting a page a day colored uh, pretty stoked because issue nine looks awesome um, the first three issues look great um, considering what they were uh, I think I'll probably use these revamped versions and modify the trade if I need to go back to a reprint um, I think it's definitely going to have the revamped pages and looks for the Omnibus when I finally get all three trades done up, uh, but that's far in the far in the future. Um, for right now, just checking out Webtoons, um, meeting a lot of creators that way. Uh, it's been a joy. It really, really has. Um, I highly suggest checking out some of Jeff Lafferty's latest videos. Uh, he's talking about a lot of good stuff. While he's working on his painted comic. God, I want to do a painted comic so well, bad just watching his. Um, also, you can see this is kind of sped up. I think it's like four times the speed. I think this is all like 40 minutes worth of coloring this first page. And it's like, I think it's like 10, 12 minutes. So, uh, yeah, a lot of great things happening. Um, looking forward to sharing a lot with you guys. Um, like I said, issue three is reformatted. Uh, I will get that scanned in on day 57. Uh, probably built 
and get readied on webtoons as well as that day. Um, I don't think I'll be scanning an issue 9 colored pages just yet. Um, but I will be showing or giving these high quality pages of the processes like the roughs, tighter pencils, inks, and then the cleanup inks. And then the fully colored page uh, on my Patreon. I think the first couple pages I'll probably put to the public, but then you can see what you can get if you support me there as well. So I think that's going to do it for today. Hope all your projects are going well. Uh, I'm really digging, digging, getting all this work done. So hope you're enjoying seeing all the process as well. Uh, we'll catch you later. Peace, all that good stuff. Later.